YouTubers, what's up? Well, since my um, PM45 new milling machine project is temporarily on hold while I'm waiting for the material for the base, um, I figured I would finish another project I started. Um, what I'm doing here is modifying this drawbar to work in my Grizzly uh, G0709 gunsmith lathe. Um, they don't make, they, they make a 5C collet chuck for this, but I wanted to use a um, collet adapter instead. So I ordered this from Grizzly, and this is Morse Taper 5 to 5C collet. And um, basically, um, the reason I wanted this and not a 5C chuck is I'm going to get a little more accuracy this way. That's the only reason. So I got to modify this draw bar. It's for a different Grizzly lathe. Um, it's a little long, uh, but it is al already threaded for the 5C collet. And the adapter um, already fits in my spindle up here. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to be boring this uh, piece of aluminum stock out and basically I'm going to make a serrated handle for that draw bar. Um, that way I'll be able to twist this in and draw that collet into the adapter. So um, I guess uh, we'll get going boring on this. We have to bore this out to 1.260 and then I'm going to thread it to fit that draw bar. So here we go. stop set here so we got to keep an eye on that bring it the rest of the way in by hand I'm taking about 20 thousandths at a time, so I'm taking it pretty easy. Uh, I got this draw, um, boring bar out six inches because that's how far I need to bore into this uh, piece of aluminum stock. And uh, so I'll clean up a little bit here and then uh, we'll start it up again and take another 20 thou off. Okay, this should be the final cut um, for boring out this aluminum stock so I could put some threads in there. So here we go.
Okay, we got it bored to the final dimension. And basically what, what I'm making is a little, just a, a serrated handle for this draw bar. Um, the threads you see on the left are actually smaller diameter than the ones on the right. So I'm not even gonna use those threads in the back. What I did is uh, when I bored it, I bored it to that dimension right there. So it should be pretty snug. And then right here in the front, I bored it to the dimension to where I could thread the uh, thread the internal here and and thread that on to this. So uh, we're going to uh, face this first, uh, chamfer it, and then uh, thread it. And this is a 1.5 millimeter pitch. So that's what we're doing next. So I'll get set up for that, and we'll be back. Okay, getting ready to face that off. Okay, I'm all ready to start threading the inside of this uh, aluminum tube. It's going to be the handle for my 5C collet draw bar. And I have all my settings set up for um, uh, 1.25 is my metric pitch on this. So I have that all set up. Now, um, I mentioned this in a previous video. When you thread metric, once you lock your half nut, you can never unlock it because it's got an American SAE Imperial thread and not a metric thread. So if you unlock it and go to lock on the same number again, you're going to cross your threads. So basically what I do is I run that in as far as I need to go and then I hit the brake and then back it out in reverse and then start from square one again. Um, I would try to video this. I just broke my uh, Starrett indicator holder that sits on this base right here to thread it here. So it's gonna need some uh, surgery, so I can't film it. So I'm gonna do this real quick and then I'll show you the finished product. thread cutting. I'm going to run this in as far as it needs to go and then I'm going to hit the e-brake and stop it and then and then back it out. Okay, so then I'm going to run this back in and then I'm going to Got to reset the machine every time you hit the e-brake. And then I'm going to hit reverse. And then it's going to back it out. So basically I'm going to do this about four or five times and my thread should be finished. Okay, I got the stand fixed now. Let's cut some threads.
finish this up and then we'll be back. Let's see if I can get a shot of them threads. Okay, just finished threading it. Now let's trial fit this draw tube and see if it threads up. Oh yeah, baby. Like a dream. Sweet. Okay, now I'm gonna cut down the shoulder a little bit so it goes inside the spindle and rides snug inside the spindle to support the rear end of the draw tube. So that'll be our next cut. Like a dream. Okay, we'll be back. 